Pegasus spyware was used by governments worldwide to tap smartphones of activists, journalists and even high-ranking government officials. That's what a report by a media coalition called Pegasus Project states. Photos, text messages, contacts, passwords, you name it. Pegasus can extract anything from your smartphone. And you won't even know about it. Here's what's behind this. It's a massive surveillance scandal that was uncovered by the media coalition Pegasus Project. A list with over 50,000 phone numbers was leaked to Amnesty International and Forbidden Stories. That's a French non-profit media organization which coordinates the Pegasus project. So far, we don't know who leaked the list and whether all listed phone numbers were successfully targeted by Pegasus clients. We do know that the phone numbers of French President Emmanuel Macron, Morocco's King Mohammed VI and Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan are on the list. Pegasus was made by Israel-based tech company NSO Group. Pegasus is extremely sophisticated and has little in common with a simple hack. A hacker's intrusion is usually focused on one point of attack. Pegasus will compromise your entire phone without you knowing it's happening. The program can even turn on your microphone and camera to make covered recordings. Not even encrypted messages are safe. The revelation by the Pegasus project are causing some political turmoil. Pakistan wants the UN to investigate whether India's government under Prime Minister Narendra Modi used Pegasus to spy on their Prime Minister Khan. More than 1,000 phone numbers on the leaked list are from India. The ones that were identified belong to government critics, journalists and activists. One of them is Umar Khalid, who is currently in jail. India's opposition speaks of treason and wants to hold Modi's government accountable. Another country that has been linked to Pegasus is Mexico. According to the Pegasus project, Mexico was the first country to buy the spyware program. Over 15,000 numbers on the leaked list belong to Mexican citizens. Journalist Marcela Turati is one of them. Bueno, yo creo que casi todos los periodistas mexicanos sabemos y sentimos que tenemos un cierto tipo de vigilancia y de espionaje, ¿no? Es como algo asumido más porque México es todavía está entre los países más peligrosos para ejercer la profesión. At least 50 people connected to Mexico's President Andrés Manuel López Obrador were possibly targeted in 2016 and 2017. López Obrador became president in 2018. According to The Guardian, Mexico's former administration under Enrique Peña Nieto was a Pegasus client. According to NSO, their mission is to work to save lives and create a better, safer world. Fact is, the Pegasus software was sold to governments which are considered some of the most repressive in the world. And the Pegasus project strongly suggests that clients abused the program. NSO fully denies all allegations and says the claims have no factual basis and are far from reality. The company is even considering a defamation lawsuit. What do you think? Can spyware be used to do good or will it always be abused? Let us know. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.